like to draw your attention to the specific gravity section of the brew that I am currently working on and that my float is monitoring for me. And I want to bring you over here to the spikes where you can see that we've got a steep curve on the specific gravity once the yeast became very active. And then there's a spike in specific gravity there. And then when we get over here, there's lots of volatility. And I think people see that, they go, well, that can't be accurate. My specific gravity can't be going up when I can clearly see that the yeast is very, very active. And that brings us to the question, is perhaps my float faulty? And I think that that's something that we need to look into. So that's what we're going to do. Um, clearly this is happening when we have a lot of volatility in the Croizon. And um, you start to see this on the readings that are in there. So I think one of the best things that we could do would be to um, check on the volatility uh, that we see in maybe some other public brews that are posted on the floats site. So I thought it might be helpful to see if uh, any of the other graphs and details for some of the other brews that are currently available on the public page of Brewbane's website showed similar behavior patterns and so I've just randomly picked some off there that are about uh, four days old on average uh, to replicate where I'm about at and see if I can see anything that's similar and on this one I'm seeing the same thing for what I look for is when the yeast gets active on the steepest part of the curve going down are we seeing more volatility there and indeed we are we're seeing um, spikes in the specific gravity and uh, let's look at the next one you can see this is kind of a consistent pattern there's always a fair bit of volatility and I know we can look at other factors for this other than say the uh, turbulence due to the fermentation progress such as let's say negative divergences between temperature and specific gravity because we know there is a relationship there but we don't see anything here in terms of a negative divergence to show that and here we are seeing some fairly unexplained reasons for his temperature moving around here um, but down here we are seeing that spike again in specific gravity and let's just take another one and this one as well see where we've got this one here um, and it's specific gravity going up while the temperature is coming down and it looks to me like this person started like I did with temperature too high and I can only guess where they introduced their yeast in order to so I don't know if these readings would be accurate or not so given that um, we are seeing most of the other users are getting these uh, volatility readings in the graphs for their specific gravity I think that this is something that's inherent to the amount of turbidity that takes place in the body of the wart and is manifest by the size of the head in the croissant and when you've got a very active and large croissant I think we have to accept that our specific gravity readings are not necessarily uh, reflective of what the SG of the wart really is 
and that we want those to be and we can expect those to be returning to normal levels and more accurate levels once this um, really uh, vigorous fermentation activity subsides. However, you still might be faced, and that's something I don't know of yet, whether cleaning the body of uh, the float is going to be necessary if there is a fair bit of uh, the Krausen should if it's left on the body of the float. So I don't think it leads to a faulty float though. I think you need to look at some of these other factors first if you have concerns about your specific gravity.